Welcome back to DXB today. Great to have your company this evening and hopefully uh, we're being well, helpful. Very unlike us down here at DXB today, but <laughs> marking a card as it were, giving you a few, uh, a, a little bit of inspiration, a few thoughts about your future summer plans, which is just around the corner. To that end, uh, let's welcome our next guest into the mix. Our next guest is a seasoned journalist, establishing herself as a leading uh, voice in the region's hospitality landscape at the moment. Please welcome uh, Simone Moodley from Hotel and Catering News Middle East. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. Thank you so much, Tom. Good to have you with us here. What's trending? What's trending this year? So many things are trending. And it's not even that so many things are trending. I think it's the same trends that we've been hearing about for the last couple of years. But it's the consumer behaviour about those trends that are making it so interesting. So out of ATM, which you know we've just yeah. had, we've had a lot of reports come out from hospitality groups about all the different ways that people are traveling, how they're planning their travel. Four key areas we're looking at over the next three years that's gonna be pretty significant is luxury, sustainability, wellness, holistic wellness travel, and mm. of course, technology. Mm. Again, nothing new, right? We've been hearing about these things for a long time, but consumer behavior is changing. So for example, when you look at the high net worth individual traveler, for instance, yeah. This region, the GCC Traveller, is the one to take note of. Mm. They are really claiming a stake in travel and tourism trends globally, and they are high spenders. They are topping European spending habits, which is great for travel news. They're very conscious, they want sustainability, but they're also looking for more meaningful travel. They want to be disconnect to reconnect, if you will. So yes, I think GCC Traveller is the one to watch. One to watch. Yeah. Well, Simone, I think you described Tom, the GCC, oh, high, you know, big, big spender, big oh, traveler. <laughs> now, based on that and based on everything uh, you've learned from the amazing research that you've got, what are some of the destinations that are drawing them? Because I know from the ones I go to, everyone is sitting up and paying attention to our region. Yes. Because mm. we <clears throat> demand attention. They should be paying us attention. But which countries or regions are really drawing interest from the traveler's perspective? So you've said it beautifully and perfectly because it is the GCC that is on everybody's mind. We mentioned before on the show about the airport received about 22% more increase in visitors than it did even post COVID. Some countries are still recovering from yeah. COVID. So that says a lot about the attractiveness of the GCC market. In terms of where the GCC traveler is going, there are so many different destinations because of all the different trends. So for example, a trend like um, going to places that became super popular based on TV shows, like the White Lotus or Emily in Paris. Oh, yeah. You're seeing so many people go to Paris. You're seeing so many people visit Maui, visit the Four Seasons. At the time, I think the Four Seasons received like 300% interest yeah in the hotel because of that show White Lotus. So a lot of these online trends, a lot of different kinds of trends like dupe vacations, people are going to less expensive places. As much as high net worth individuals are spending, I think budget consciousness is a big deal for travelers in the next three years. People are looking for meaningful adventure and less about collecting things and spending a lot of money on, you know, luxury. Mm. Simone, I mean, different people travel for different reasons. It could be food, shopping, people, cultural uh, exploration, so on and so forth. But sleep tourism mm. is definitely a new one for me. So explorers wanting to explore certain countries based on sleep quality and relaxation, that's definitely a new one for me. I'm so glad that, that you picked that one because that's also <laughs> my favorite. I think we all could do with a little bit of rest <laughs> and that is exactly the insight based on this trend. So a lot of people are looking for very isolated remote destinations. They're looking for hotels that can give them just a relaxing, restful experience. They just want to go and literally sleep. I tell this example quite a lot because I'm so fascinated by the story, but there's a hotel um, in Sweden and it's called the the, Bell, the Bellora if I'm not mistaken and it, they have a suite called the checkout suite and how that works is you pay your bill at checkout based on how much internet you use oh. so the less internet you use the less your rate is going to be when you check out just to encourage people to disconnect a little bit relax more that's what mobile data is for <laughs> <laughs> 
That's a pretty good idea, though. I like that. I like yeah, that. That's pretty is. good, right? Yeah, yeah. The Swedes are always like at the forefront. Actually, I've got some friends, um, the Lundgren family. They they're from here. They you know the one, the furniture store. So that they're the owners of that, and they, they literally just were in Sweden, um, and they went for the Taylor Swift gig. So you get a lot of people that are, are traveling just for certain gigs as well, don't you? Yes, a lot for gigs, a lot for music festivals. If there's any cultural on the road shows that they follow, they're traveling for that too. FNB is a big one too. People are going to visit um, countries and cities just to try Michelin starred restaurants and popular restaurants that TikTok made famous or dishes that Instagram made famous. So there's a lot of FNB involvement when it comes to picking a place for travel. Mm. Amazing. Story, 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 guys. I heard it keeps the, me in business. Yeah, and, and you just talk about the White Lotus before as well. I heard there's, there's a new season, and that's going to be at the fourth season in Australia, I heard. I heard it's in India, no? The next season? Really? I'm not sure where the Surely next location is going to be. Surely every hotel around the world is claiming <laughs> that they've got the next season yeah, yeah, yeah. of White Lotus, aren't they? Yeah. Just, yeah. It's going to be at the Jumeirah Beach Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so interesting to see the role of what we consume as entertainment influencing what we're spending in our travel time and our, our, our days off. It's an incredible link and I find it really fascinating. And it's mm. equally interesting to also give hotels an idea of what they could be thinking about and the possibilities are so big. But those possibilities are changing, aren't they, in, in terms of the fact that, and we, we sort of mentioned it a little bit earlier on in the show, but I, we're, we're noticing now with more people being able to work remotely, that people are able to go away for longer. Is that something you're seeing as well or not? Yes, definitely. So when it comes to the increase in homestays and service departments, that's definitely happening because people are merging their business travel with their vacation. Now they can work from home. So nomadic travel is, is a really big thing, like you mentioned before on the show. I think also people that are coming for business want to make the most of it and they want to extend the trip, bring their family with them and, and just get a little time to explore and see things. It is great that the work from home policy is still, you know, apparent in most companies. So I think right. that, you know, the hospitality industry can take full advantage of that. Yeah. So Ash, I think it's about that time for our DXB in 60 with our guest co-host. Absolutely, Zara, I hope you're ready because we're gonna ask you as many questions as possible. You need to answer them truthfully and quickly within 60 seconds. Are you oh ready? goodness, <laughs> okay, you got here we go. I made it sound yeah, more scary it. than it you is. Did, it's, not, it's not that scary, let <laughs> it me. It sounds very intimidating, <laughs> but let's truthfully. go. Truthfully. <laughs> All right, your time starts now. Three, two, one, let's go. If you weren't a content creator or entrepreneur, what would you be doing? A lawyer. Your first job. What was my first job? Um, the one that was actually paid. Uh, <laughs> Paralegal? I mean, I don't know. Um, yeah, marketing assistant, editorial assistant for a magazine called Essentials. Uh, your motto in life and in work? Uh, have courage, be kind. A superpower you wish you had? Fly. A travel destination on your bucket list? Antarctica. Oh. Your go-to place in Dubai? Oof, uh, the beach, Kite Beach. Your most memorable travel journey? That's like asking me to choose a favorite pet because I only have one child, so that doesn't work. Um, most favorable journey, oof, Japan because of food. Your favorite cuisine? Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Your top travel tip slash resource? If you think about it, book it, do it, okay. worry about it later. Your time is up, but I'm going to ask you one last question. Yeah. Why Dubai? Dubai has opened up the most incredible opportunities for me. It is a city that has given me a husband, a child, the most incredible travel experiences um, and taught me to appreciate where I come from so much more, which is a gift I am forever indebted to it for. Fantastic. Thank you so much for that, Zara. So Hira, thank you so much indeed for guest co-hosting today. It's been Thanks an absolute pleasure. Me. Travel fun. safe this summer. Have a good one. Uh, thank in, you. And enjoy the experiences in Simone as well. Um, I know you work every hour, so <laughs> I hope you get a bit of time off at Thank some you, point. Thank you, Dom. Yeah? Thank you. Bless you. Thanks so much indeed. Big thanks to the team for joining us. We're not going anywhere just yet. We've got Victoria Newman still to play us out here tonight. So stay with us here on DXB Today.